You know, <laughs> you know, for nostalgic reasons, that was amazing to watch. But if you never ever saw that before, come on, come on, guys, you gotta admit that was kind of gay, right? <laughs> no lie. You know, as a kid, you don't question much. You know, s such as where does Optimus Prime's cargo roll off to when he transforms, or how does the big ass Megatron transform into a small ass gun, or the biggest peeve I have these days. Let's just say, if I'm gonna choose a winning team to be on, I might have to choose the Decepticons because damn it, they're fucking fighter jets versus cars. I mean, we already saw in the intro what happens when the, when the Autobots try to attack them. Oh shit, the cars are shooting. Let's simply fly away. And you know what? I like that strategy. But anyways, guys, what's going on? It's the left-handed monkey and you are watching the monkey paints, but a monkey paints that hits true to my heart because... Well, this will be my second attempt at painting Optimus Prime because if you watched the Sakura episode, the Sakura from Street Fighter, not Naruto, I told you this terrible story about when I was six years old. I that the first thing I've ever painted was Optimus Prime, and I drew the body first, and I didn't have space for the head, and I don't have to tell you. That's devastating for a six-year-old. <laughs> you know, listening back on that clip, I sounded pretty sore about something that happened 20 years ago. But anyways, this is a commissioned piece by the channel's good friend Jay Moonies, who also commissioned the Xiao Yu and Bad Box Art Mega Man piece from earlier this year. Now, Jay has his own gaming channel here on the YouTubes, and uh, be sure to check the links below and check him out. He commentates his gameplay with what I can only call a voice so smooth. I've heard My brother from some other Asian mother. I'd want to call him Barry Yellow. Just deciding to cut that one short. It actually sounded pretty good as I was painting with that Barry White music on, but you know, just in case the Barry White estate decides to come after us, we'll just keep that safe. So follow the links below to check out his channel. It's a good one. And uh, now let's talk about this painting. Of course, this is. Optimus Prime bitch slapping Rodimus Prime straight from the demented mind of Jay Moody's himself come to life by my now arthritic left hand <laughs> because did you guys see how many straight lines I had to draw I had the help of a ruler when I was just drawing out you know the basic uh, composition of the painting but you can't keep laying down the ruler on wet paint so you can't use a ruler when you're actually you know painting straight lines so, shout outs to my right hand for supporting the left hand throughout these trials and tribulations. One of the more technical paintings I've ever painted. And, um, you know what? This truly is a labor of love and simply paying the rent. And so, you know, I, when, when it was all said and done, stepping back and taking a look at this painting, I was so proud of this painting. I just wished. Well, not that I wish, but I wouldn't mind if Jay Mooney's just emailed me and said, Monkey, I can't pay you. I lost all my monies betting on the ponies. And, uh, <laughs> uh, but he paid me in full before the painting was even completed. Because he's so smart. And don't be offended, Asians. <laughs> I, can, I can make that joke accent because I'm racist. And that's not even my joke, but I love it. Oh, but let me tell you now. Jay Mooney's knows I'm gonna get him for this one. I mean, he's a slickster, man. So smooth. I showed him what I thought was the finished piece of the painting, and he would say, Wow! But hey, if you feel inspired, how about some wear and tear? And I was like, Damn it! If he wasn't right about that, that was a good idea. So I added the wear and, you know, also the tear. And once again, I presented him with what I thought was a finished piece, and he was like, Wow! But you know, the upper right hand corner looks a little empty. Just saying. If only a severed unicron head were floating there. Just saying. Now, in my head, I was like, this is what I get for working for an Asian person. You know, they want to squeeze that last ounce of that dollar. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, I only kid, guys. I'm Asian too, if you haven't figured it out by the back of my head yet. But you know what? Jay was right. Once I put that unicron head in there. It did make the piece look a lot better. And you know what? Thank you, Jay, for making me paint one of the hardest 
yet one of the most fulfilling paintings I've ever had the privilege to paint. So thanks for that. Guys, I am the left-handed monkey. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace out. Wait, wait, wait. I knew you could get us here. You're a competitor with a big ego.